This is a video on how to take care of your prey mantis. For beginners, or for a first time having a prey mantis, it is best to be um, to keep your hand not to its face, like right and touching the face and the eyeballs, because it can try to nibble you. And when it does, it really hurts. And why I say this is because when I was trying to teach my prey mantis to go on my hand, and accidentally I accidentally put my finger on the right on the spot and then it nibbled my finger and then it really hurt. And it pretty much peeled my uh, skin off. But there is there is no reason to get scared with a prey mantis. Because the way you handle it is the way it's gonna react. If you're Prey mantis, if you spend time with your prey mantis every single day, holding it or letting it go on your hand, then the prey mantis becomes to know you and you can pray, I mean, you can touch the prey mantis, or I should say, pet your prey mantis. But the first time you wanna do this, you, wanna, you don't wanna really touch the body, you just wanna let it crawl on your hand for several days and then start doing advanced stuff like touching this part. But that is when you be when you become um, advanced because when you touch the parts like the back, the wings, this part right here, um, the prey mantis don't really like that. But since I've been having this prey mantis for a couple of months now, it's gotten so used to me now it doesn't really care where I touch it. Now just because I gotten nibbled on was because it was still a baby and still new. Now, uh, if you get like a um, baby, it is a good chance for your prey mantis be to become very close to you. Now, if your prey mantis is an adult, like this guy right here, um, it's going to be just a little bit harder. You're going to have to spend more time going to put it on your hand if you will like. Now to tell a difference between a baby or a adult is by looking at its size and a baby is just like this big I guess about there and it, it there are normally green and when it becomes adult it changes into this color right here like a brownish and it starts to get wings now, if you get a, a adult one that has wings, just be careful because they do fly, and it can be it could go all the way up to the ceiling. But since I've trained this guy not to fly, he doesn't. Now, for a baby one, they do not fly because they have wings, but they do jump. So, if you spend more time, it is better. Um, then they will show more improvement of not jumping or flying around. Now you may be wondering, what does the prey mantis eat? Prey mantis says in the wild eat birds, worms, moth, and um, crickets. They pretty much eat the things that they see on the tree or that is nearby. Now, you might say, wow, how does a prey mantis get a bird? Well, you can see that they are camouflaged, and they are very good and skilled um, to get those kind of stuff, their prey. Uh, one time, I caught a bumblebee and a fly, and don't ask me how, but I did, and I put it in the cage, and uh, the prey mantis ate it. Everything. But for the first time going through, like the first time having your prey mantis, you can just feed it worms and crickets. Now, if you're not comfortable taking it out and doing all the stuff I've been telling you, you can just keep it in a container like this one. This is like a butterfly container, but it works perfectly for your prey mantis. Um, 
you can use a like a square or rectangle shaped glass for your praying mantis but make sure you add leaves and branches just put your um, worms or crickets or insects on the bottom and you might be you might want to add some like cardboard cardboard from egg cartons so for the crickets or you can just ask a pet store for them if they carry it now the water issue um you just use a spray bottle right here and make it so it's misty and just like mist like just spray around right inside but do not spray um at the praying mantis as much just spray like twice because you don't want to drown the praying mantis it's easy for praying mantis to drown so thank you for watching this video i hope this helped you and you enjoyed it just so you know this guy right here this praying mantis is drinking water and this is how they drink water